Hello all, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 10 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about usages of with column function in PySpark. Generally, once you load data into data frame, you may have a requirement of adding a new column to it or maybe altering or changing the existing column value are existing column data types in data frame. So in such scenarios, you have to use with the column function. So I will be explaining all these examples practically now. So with the column function will basically update the existing column. It can be like data type update, it can be value update or it will add a new column altogether. So since it is trying to transform the data on top of the data frame, it is called transformation function. So there are a lot of functions available in PySpark that will help you the transform the data on a data frames. We will discuss them all of them one by one in our upcoming videos. So whenever you update any data, whenever you transform the data on top of data frame, actually you are not altering the data frame. You create a new data frame out of it actually. So let me practically show you that so that you will make sense of it. So let me go to Databricks workspace this is the databricks workspace which i have already opened and here uh, if you go to compute you can see there is one cluster already running so let's go to workspace users under my name here let's try to create a new notebook and let's try to name it maybe uh, like with column with column notebook okay so let me give this name and uh, default language is python cluster i have selected let me hit create button to create a notebook and once the notebook created the ui will open my notebook here so let's wait for the ui to update yeah so let me close this pop-up so this is my notebook connected with my cluster and here let's try to create a data frame first if you have seen my PySpark videos from the starting, you know how to create a data frame by manually entering some values. So I am just trying to do the same thing here. So I let's try to create a data variable which holds a list list of tuples. So one Mahir, then maybe three thousand. So let's try this will act as a row in a data frame. So let's say like this is ID and this is name and this is salary. So let's try to add another row as well similarly. So let me put comma here and id2 wafa. So please watch all my videos in the sequence order so that you will get most out of it. Okay. So now here let me try to create a new variable called columns maybe. And this is also list. <coughs> so id column we have, name column we have, then salary column. Okay. So now here, let's try to use this spark keyword that will give you a spark session object as I shown in our previous videos. And on top of this, let's try to use this create data frame function. To this data frame function, there is, so I am hitting control space to get the notification, I mean this intelligence. There is a parameter called data. So to this parameter, let's supply this data variable here, then comma. There is another parameter called schema. So for this one, let's try to supply my columns. So this entire code is going to create a data frame. So to do to hold that data frame, <coughs> let's try to have a variable called df. So now the data frame, whatever it creates here, that will come and land inside this variable. So once we do that, on top of this, we can use a show function. As I said in a previous video, let me hit shift enter. To execute this code to make sure whether our data frame gets created correctly or not so our command is running here so let's give few seconds you can see the data is also comes up here so now here let me do one thing so along with this show function on top of data frame we have something called print schema function that will give schema of this data frame so let me hit enter shift enter to execute this cell here and now if you see the output we got a schema id column name column salary column id column came as long name column as a string salary column as a string how these uh, data types are coming that create data frame function 
will automatically infer the column data types based upon the values we supply. So by default, if there is any integer, it will take it as a log data type. Uh, so if anything in a single quote or double quote, it will take it as a string type. <laughs> so now let's assume I want to convert the salary column to integer. I don't want it to be string. So how to do that? So for that, what we can do, as I said, we have to use with the column function. So on top of data frame, when I say control uh, dot plus, then control space, there is something called with column function. So with this function, we can change the data type or we can update the values in a column or we can create a new column also altogether. So with column function will help to do these kind of activities. So now here to this with column function, so let me do one thing, let me remove this and let me use a help function here to see the documentation of this with column function. So when I hit shift enter, it says it's a module, it's a method inside the data frame. So that is the reason on top of the data frame object, we were able to call that function because it is a method inside it. And if you say it will take column name parameter and the column parameter. So what is the column name you want? If the, if, 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 with the, if the column is already there with this column name, then existing column will going to change. If the column is not there with this column, then the new column will be added with the changes. And to this parameter, what the change we want, whether we want to uh, convert the data type, whether we want to update the values in a column, whether we want to add a new column. So that information, we have to pass it here. And here, if you see column name, we have to supply as a string. For call parameter, we should supply a object of the column class type. And you can scroll down, you can see the examples. And here, if you see the example, they are trying to take this age 2 column. So if this data frame has the age 2 column, then the existing column will be updated with these changes or it will create a new column with this name and then inside that column, these changes will come. So here, what they are doing, they are taking a age column from the existing data frame and plus 2. That means uh, addition. So on top of the age, they are adding some value. So, so let's not worry about this example. Let's take this example here. So what I want is, I want to convert this salary column data type to integer because it is coming as a string. So now I will do what I will do, df dot with column. Firstly, we have to supply the column name parameter, right? To the column name parameter, I, I am going to act upon this salary column. So I will be supplying that value. So on top of the salary column, now here I have to specify what change I want. I want to convert the data type of it. So to do that, first let's try to select that column. So for the second parameter, for the call parameter, we should supply a column from the data frame, right? So for that, the, you can use df.column name or actually there is a function. So let me import one function here from PySpark dot SQL dot functions. Let me try to import. There is something called call function. So this call function will give you columns. So now if you use this call function, uh, I am going to pick this salary column. So what this call function will do, it will point to a column object of that particular column. And if you see the documentation, the second parameter should be column type, class column type. And this will return class column type data only. So now I have taken that entire column dot on top of that, I want to use a cast function to convert the data type. So I want to cast this to maybe integer. Okay. So that's it. So now this entire thing is not going to change the data in this data frame or it is not going to modify the column data type in this data frame. So this entire thing is going to create a new data frame altogether with these changes. So that new data frame, let me save it into like maybe df1, data frame 1 or you can save that back into df itself, up to you. So let me save it into a different object altogether, df1 and now on top of df1 i can perform show and also on top of df1 let me try to use print schema 2 now let me hit shift enter to execute this code and now if you see 
df1 dot shows the same data no changes because we only changed the data type and now if you see here salary column became a integer type so how this magic is happening because of this with column function so this is one thing and second thing let's assume i want to update the values in a existing column so let's take the same salary column so no i don't want to change the data type maybe or let it be so till here it is changed the data type right now on top of the data frame what i want you i want to update the values so same thing so if you want to change the data in a existing values also you have to use a with column function so here which column i want to update i want to update the salary column so let me take the salary column then what change i want to do i want to take this salary column okay then i want to multiply every salary with two maybe okay so now what will happen in the salary column for every row it will multiply the value by two and whatever the changes it will do with that changes it creates a new data frame so let's use a df2 maybe this time and then let's try to do df2 dot show let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and now let's observe the values see salary became 3000 uh, see 3000 became 6000 here and if you see 4000 became 8000 here right how that magic is happening because using this with the column function we were able to update the values in a existing row so now let's assume so df2 created up to here it is fine now i want to add a new column altogether on top of this data frame and that column should be like a country column okay so to do that same thing with the column then supply the column name so now i am going to supply country so every time whatever the column you supply here first what it will do it will check with the same name is there any column already in the data frame if yes then the changes will happen on that column itself or else it will create a new column altogether since there is no column called country it creates a new column altogether and then here what i want so in that column i want value to be like india so to do that so you cannot supply value like maybe uh, india so in country column i want india column you cannot do that why because as i said the second parameter if you remember the second parameter should be class column type call function will give you class column type but here i am using a string so it won't work so how to pass a hard coded value as a class column type so for that here inside the pyspark sql functions there is something called lit function that will give you output in a column type see here so now let me import that lit function literal it is literally it is like literal only lit means so to this lit function let me supply maybe india india as a value i want to return as an entire column and that column should be with this name so this entire code again going to create a new data frame it, so let's try to save that new data frame here as a df3 and now let's try to do df3 dot show so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and now if you closely observe we got our country column as well so that means we were able to add a new column as well so if i recap here here i was able to point to some column and updates its data type and here i was able to point to some column and updates its values and here i was able to create a new column altogether with some new value not only that we can create a new column with some existing column values as well so let's assume this is what the data frame 3 right so here what i want is maybe i want to uh, create a new column called uh, copied salary and the same values i want it okay so to do that so on top of df3 again use with column and i want to create a new column called maybe copied salary and for this column the data should be the salary column that means i am duplicating the existing column value data so what you can do the same thing so use a column function and whatever we have inside a salary column take that and it will simply give that result back then let me try to show data frame 4 now if i hit shift enter see what will happen it will create a new column and the data in this new column is from the existing column so that's it let me go back to presentation.
so if you see this is the code where i am changing the data type and here we are updating a column with the existing column values and here we are creating a, a new column altogether with the existing values here and it's a it's again a new column with some new value so that's it in this video this with column function is very useful many times we will get a requirement of using this with column function in real time scenarios so i would strongly encourage you guys to watch this with column function detailly and try to get most out of it if you are not getting it watch it multiple times so that you will make sense of it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much